Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepberg. Okay, so we've been having a problem a while with the garbage problems in these areas. You see that uh, we have reds and oranges. Now there are some garbage trucks coming around and occasionally picking stuff up, but they're taking so long to get there. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, look at there and down here as well. And I think I've figured out what the problem is. I think what's happening is if I look at this road here. Me this, that's on the road. The purple line, pinky line, that thing is the city service vehicle. That's the garbage trucks themselves. And if you look, a lot of them are going out onto this area and into here. And ones over here that we built separately, especially for this job. Well, a lot of them are over here. So yeah. So what I think is actually happening is I think yeah, that move. They're saying basically. Uh, we are closer to these buildings than we are to those buildings by drawing a line. Yeah. And not taking into consideration the road. <clears throat> so rather than saying we're, we're, we're close to these because it's a you know five minute drive there, but it's a 45 minute drive to here. I think mean, they actually do it by a line of sight sort of situation. And that's causing us the problems. So we need to start moving these out of this little bit here where they're near that, and out of this bit here where they're near this. And moving them into this area. Now we're trying to avoid putting them in this area. But I feel we've got enough outskirt pieces here. We could put a few of them on the outskirts. And it would be okay. And then maybe on the tip up here. So I feel that would work. So let's grab one of these. Are you? What's your pollution range like? Pollution range is the purpley one. Right, we can put you down here. Ooh. We can put you right down here. Okay, we can put you down here. I don't want to put them on the main road. But uh, I can put a junction in here. And it, since it only does the one service road. I don't mind it being near two over one. I'll just make sure we'll get rid of the uh, traffic lights on it. So give me a road. Normal road because there's going to be pollution all over this one. Uh, take it from there. There's a stop there isn't there? There is a stop there. Well take it from there and bring it out all the way. Yes. I run it all the way down that way. And I can have it this way at all? I cannot, but... But nothing. That should give me a place with a couple of them, right? Uh, let's get rid... Why, 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 why? There you go. Don't, don't complain. No, don't complain. Fix yourselves. We got too close to them, I think. Uh, okay, let's repair these. Uh, Metro. Um. No, 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 no. The red one. I want to move the red one to this side, where it should have been originally. I moved it by accident. So there we go. You two behave yourselves now. Can we put it off this side, maybe? Um. Well, let's put the road over here. Um, that would give us the road we want. <coughs> uh. Put a couple in here, easy. That way. And then in there? No. I mean, we could put them against the actual. We could put them against this road, but I don't want them on that road really, because they'll make them go in one direction. We'll have, have a junction when they get out and turn. Um, and we could put them on this side. Little road there, little road there. We can get two on it either side, no problem. What if I were to get a bit closer to this junction? I don't want to be too close to the junction, but if I put that there. Like that. And then... Actually, can we pull it back just a tad? No, see, they're complaining again, but I don't care anymore about them complaining. So that to there. And then that one that way. Like that. And then we can fix those junctions because they're being really weird. Hey, red one, can you do that? Go there. No, no, go there. Hey, green, go there. Oh, no, 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 go there. Idiots. Alright, so they're done. Uh, let's tell this junction here that it is not to have traffic lights and it is not to be a junction of any kind, actually. Uh, there is no junction here. N no junction. N not a junction. Okay. Traffic lights are uh, no, because there's no junction there. Why would you have traffic lights on it? Problem solved. 
And then over here we can move two of those, uh, where are they? Two of you. One. Oh, you can follow me. One can go there. And you. Whoop. Follow me. Oh, that one won't fit in there. Go there for a minute. I've got a row to move. Oh look, it should fit in there now, right? Boom. There we go. Garbage trucks. They're amazing. And exactly what we needed in this area. Alright, so hopefully those trucks there will actually go out in there now and start working with the uh, with this area. Um, let's move a couple of us. We have spaces over here to place this couple, so let's do one over here. This is nice clear, but the, the house is really close to the edge. This, however, the house is quite far back. So we can put a road off here and do the same thing. This will have no... Uh, there'll be no... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, none of them. Boom. Turn that that way. We're not on here. We can put quite a lot of them in here, potentially. I just want to, be, don't want to do too many and break the system. Right. Oop. Don't be. Let's bring a couple of them over. Let's, let's bring you. Can I put on this side? Yes, good. I was hoping to put them like double sided on here, and we can. But put the first one. There. Is there water at this way? There should be water. There is. And power is not quite, but you'll get it soon, right? Okay, we'll get it soon. Let's move as many of these as we can, because I feel they're not doing their job over there. We should be heading towards the Eden Project as well at some point, because the Eden Project gets rid of all the pollution from these buildings. Um, it's a long way off yet, but we should be starting to head towards that, I think. Um, it's, one, it's one building I've never really liked building. Um, normally, because it removes the pollution and working around the pollution and traffic and stuff like that is kind of the, one of the things of the game. But uh, we are we are going to want to deal with that, so we could get rid of the pollution that way. Uh, put you down here. I move the others because I will want to put some more up here. But right now, I feel that having them here, so this service this island is the better option. There, uh, four more to move. Then we have the other island to look at. But I think the other island's using dirtier ones, the big polluted versions. And I think we can get rid of them maybe. Or swap them out for something else. There are some places where we've got these recycling centers that we could swap out for these quite easily. Right, any more? I'll probably get one more on this side, and we have two more P to move. So, uh, can I get one more up here? Yes, right there. And it looks like we can actually fit the extra one up here as well. And I feel we have way too many of these, but I think it's just because of the positions were confusing at first, and that's what kind of screwed it over. Alright, that's all done. Let's do the same thing over here. No traffic lights. And there's no junction here. But don't pretend you saw a junction when there's no junction. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Look, there's no junction here. No, 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 there is no. You just gonna go straight through. Don't, no, no stopping, guys. And then they all, these should all not go out there. Yeah, see, I feel that having this fewer usage just tells me they're not seeing garbage out there that they want to be a deal with. Let's go look at a garbage uh, situation. See, these should be calling out immediate calls to these fans, but they're probably already going from something way far away to get here. Um, right, we've got these two on this side of the road. Now we can move those into the island somewhere, but those are the big polluters. Now is there anywhere that's using the recycled ones? Yes. Okay, we can take two of these and replace these with the polluted ones. Where would we put them though is the question. Where would we put them? I mean we can put them here, but we just have to make sure this area is always commercial territory. Let's do that. Pop these down for a minute and we'll move them. Build the road and then we'll move them onto the road we're going to build. Uh, pop that there. Right, give me a road here. Road, 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 road. I think it over there, it'd be kind of fun. Boop, and then that way. Boop. And then you move to there. Uh, and you, you move to there. Perfect. And that, that one, 
stay as it is for now. I don't think it'll be a major issue. If it becomes a problem, we'll deal with it. Actually, I'll turn the traffic lights off, but I won't deal with the old junction thing, because I don't think it needs that one. You know what? Do it properly. Do the other ones this way. Do this one. No junction here. No junction here. No junction here. Alright, that's that done. Alright, they have no power. So we need to get power out of there. And I think if we, these need to be commercial. Um, so the whole of this area needs, needs to be commercialised. So that's easy. Big up me some commercial. Blob that bit. That bit. Nope. We don't put them on the main road anyway. We're trying to avoid the main road having anything on it. So actually, <clears throat> that's perfect because none of this should have anything on it anyway. Um, so let's just do a small bit on here to make sure those never get accidentally covered. Take this all the way down to the roadside so that they don't get covered by anything else in the future. Like that. And we should be bringing some stuff across here for power. So give me some housing. More housing is needed over here, guys. So housing goes there. And all the way up to there. There we go. That should be bringing power to there. Then we want to bring power up to here. So power on that square. On that square. Then power that section. Then that square, that gets power to that building. Then here, we're going to want the house to be there. And I can't get any closer than that with this current layout. So how about we drop down a building here that will give us power transfer. Where's the emergency service one? There it is. Give me a earthquake reading. Uh, we already have an earthquake detector this way, apparently. Hmm. And so they can drop that there and would transfer power. But it's not worth doing if there's already one there. Uh, ooh, right, a small transmitter. We have like no transmitters in this entire place. Can I put. Yeah, okay, I think I can squeeze this in here. Rotate it, rotate it, rotate it there. That should hopefully do the job, right? Ooh, I like the fact it put a little island out in the water for its, for its thing. Ooh, that I like. I thought it was to put a big line there. No, I actually like the fact that we built a little support structure thing here. Okay, and that's a nice big power transmitter. Cool. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but I like knowing it's... Is it actually, I, like it, I like it being there. But that's going to need power, that's going to get power, and the question is... No, they won't get power far enough across there. But the power from here should get across there, right? I did build that gap. No, that's wrong one. Did build the gap. Power is at least here. Um, oh, it just can't get that little bit extra. Oh, what a shame with the power cable this little bit. Like that. I was hoping not to do power cables, but sure, we can do power cables. There we go. And that should power those buildings up. Bing, bing. Power. Bing, 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 bing. There we go. So they have power now, and they should start sending vehicles out. They have to have, wow, they have most of their vehicles already out. Cool. Uh, you are definitely closer to this area than, than you are that area, so that should keep you busy anyway. Are you going to go in there? No, you're not a garbage truck. Okay, that should help with the garage problem. Now we could do with some garage solutions up this way, but I feel that that's going to be pushing it. Uh, but moving the garbage trucks does seem to have cleared up some of the garbage in these areas. Now I'm hoping that helps up there. These two polluted ones here, they need to move though. Put them back up here where we had that extra one where I took these from, which was here. Uh, boom. And you, no, not you, you. Boom. And there we go. Why is garbage planning at this plant? I mean, there's literally these machines here. And they're not even full, so it's not that. They're just, you're just, you're just being awkward with the people there. Hi. There you go. Hopefully you'll get some garbage collections there very shortly. I mean, the disaster response unit is getting its collection, so it's fine, right? Fine, everything's fine. Okay, dokily. Now, now it's all done, our bank balance is at 186,000. We should zone some more houses in this area. Get some more people moving in. More high density houses on this land of, land of stretch? Yes, on this land of stretch here. 
all the way down to there. It should do a very nice lane run. Boom. And that should provide ample housing for that side. And we do, ooh, academic year. Uh, 13 academic works completed, 3 this year. Student has increased by 631, nice. Campus is increasing in popularity. Uh, uh, we're going to claimed, yeah. Uh, level bonuses of 15 uh, cent per student, uh, well, dollars, whatever you call them. Uh, exchange student bonus is 12%, nice. We have now unlocked sponsorship deals, the theory of fixing traffic. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, we have rivers and erosion and spaghetti. I wish rivers and erosion would work in this game. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, and the two toga parties. Nice. Students use the campus flower bed as a resource for crafting bedazzling lure, lure reeds to complete the toga looks. Over 9,000 white bed sheets were appropriated for students for this year's toga parties. <laughs> nice. Anyway, you go build those houses. We're going to nosy over to the uh, university right now. There we are. And uh, let's take a look at Troll U. It's an acclaimed. It just needs to get the next level, which is to get some more academic works done. Uh, and uh, some more attractiveness. So that's going to be not too hard to do. But the important part is we need academic works in play. So give me the academic works. Come on, tab. There we go. Uh, we've got maximum staff. And I can... Yeah, I want, I want the staff to be highest. Uh, let's get you to work on. I'm just going to uh, repeat that whole thing. Do me a discovery. There we go. And I think, given we're making some way, we can now bring in the visiting scholars. You know what? No, we'll do free lunches for everyone. Free lunches for everybody. There we go. Tuition fees are at zero, by the way. Just finding that out. This place costs us 44 grand a year, we don't charge for tuition fees. Universal education, you see. Um, students, students don't pay anything, but everyone can come here. So, uh, I like this. This is my big, everybody deserves education in the camp, basically. Alrighty, we actually have 155. Can I buy that other building we couldn't get last time around? Pause. I thought number go down, I noticed that is exactly 150,000. The School of Medicine. Now where is my other medical building? School of Law is this one. So you've got the Auditorium and the Maps Club. You've got the Laboratory, so you would make sense to be the uh, the medicine one, wouldn't you? Alrighty, you. Ooh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we can just fit it there. Look at that. Look at that. Get as far as we can away from the main buildings. There we go. The School of Medicine. It looks like a giant hospital to take through, doesn't it? Uh, it brings in a thousand students, and that's great. Cool. All right, let's run. That is kind of a nice building, actually. Alright, so we've got the university it's a little upgrade there. Our attractiveness should have gone up a little bit more actually because of that as well. Uh, I think it went up a bit. We need to put some more stuff in here just to help with the attractiveness. I feel actually we do have a dormitory shortage as well. No, 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 we don't have. We got, we're good on, dorm on dormitories. So that's good. Is it near to tell me that? The campus buildings. Has... Okay. Yeah, we don't really have any information here to tell me how many students we have for capacity-wise. But I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Alright, well, the university's been upgraded, and we've got some garbage control here. So I think the last thing we could do, well, it's building these houses over here because they're nice. Is I think the... What do you guys think about upgrading some of the DJ area? The DJ area is the initial town where we first started building the, the people. Originally we had um, industrial over here and commercial and residential here. And then the first pack and the second pack. What I'll think of doing is taking these two blocks and this one block going around and upgrading them to high density uh, residential. So we get more traffic in this area with people. Because right now it's an all low, low density pack with this little line around the outside. I don't know you think about that idea because uh, that would help us get some more population in the city without actually having to build new areas. At the same time, we're actually building the total area. Which I'm surprised by the lack of traffic in these areas, actually. I mean, there's 
yeah, there's cars here, but it's not a lot considering the amount of people entering. And we do need to get this uh, recreation area from running as well. Toast me madness. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we do need to get this up and done. And there's a lot of people using this road right now, which is actually good to see them using it, and it's not backing up at all, which is great. Um, they are coming in here. Yeah, they're coming in quite nicely. Look at that, eh? So, uh, we might, what we could do is because they use the same exit point here, is actually force those cars to go on one lane or here. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but what I could do, I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to show you. You can tell these cars that the first lane must go there, and the second lane must go there and then tell this one that that lane must go there and that lane must go there because then when they go down these roads those two go that way, those two go that way, it would stop them crossing over as much obviously they still cross over to go on this lane but I doubt anyone would ever use that lane to tell you the truth um, or we could actually make that three lane road because the amount of vehicles coming through it but I don't feel we need to like I say it doesn't seem to be blocked up just yet um, but we also desperately need to get those paths in place because we haven't done any of the path work in this uh, city. And that is really going to be a big game changer for us. Hmm. We need to go and do that. next. Okay, next episode we will we'll dedicate to running the paths. And when I forget about it again, then you should expect it by now, okay? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the city's actually looking quite nice though, look at that. It's a block from the landscape, but it's looking quite nice overall. Yeah, and this is still, uh, it's actually working really well over here, actually. Uh, since we put some of the additional lines in place to allow direct traffic in uh, some, some places, this is still working quite well as an intermediate uh, traffic point. I like this one. I wish it had been built better, but I do like it. Anyway, let me know what you think of the city overall, and especially about upgrading the DJ area to be high density buildings. Do we need more DJs in the world is the question you have to ask yourself here. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>